my name is Star Bowles. I am the chair of the Student Government Food Service Committee at Evergreen Technical College. The purpose of our proposal is to study the need and demand for evening food service here at Evergreen Technical College. The Student Government Association is seeking permission to begin the study for the need for evening food service. Services being proposed would run Monday through Thursday evening. The funding for this research would come from the Student Government Association and funding for the research would not be a part of this proposal. A vocal minority feel that food service needs to be offered at Evergreen Technical College. The planning, supervision, and workforce that allows Evergreen to provide similar food services during the day is not available in the evening. Providing food service cannot become a reality unless sufficient consumer demand is measured and to be present. Currently, the food service program that provides meal options to our, college, to our college's daytime student body. Food service hours are currently Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Internet research of local restaurants show that having catered food would be would cost on average the students three to four dollars per person. Warming equipment, serving utensils, dining utensils, and plates would be provided by the restaurant. A reasonable service charge would be added in order to create a contingency fund in the event of loss of the equipment. Leftovers could then be donated to local charities providing multiple public relation opportunities for the college. For task one, research the campus software availability uh, to uh, email surveys. Um, considering that there's only 15 weeks in a semester and would not, in this plan would not be implemented until January of 2013. We have a very short window of time to make this happen. So what we suggest is speaking with the IT department to see if they would be able to provide any assistance with the emailing and how quickly this can be implemented. Also, is the email software capable of sending a mass email? And then thirdly, uh, the possible drawbacks to that would be the students don't check their emails as often um, and would miss the deadline. The second uh, task would be researching the possibility of uh, producing posters about the survey. And these would be distributed throughout the campus. Uh, we would conduct the survey in the student lounge and enlist the help of campus print shop for ideas and the printing of the posters. Uh, spreading the word would be, we could, one of the possibilities of spreading the word would be to contact the uh, editor of the student newspaper to see if he would be able to spread the, help us spread the word. And organizing help with the survey um, collecting the surveys from the students, we would be able to solicit, um, possibly solicit help from other committee student volunteers and possibly staff and faculty. Task three would be researching the possibility of mailing the surveys to student homes. Um, mailing surveys to the student's home would be another option. Um, return the completed survey to a designated mailbox on campus. Um, drawback to this uh, possibility would be um, the cost of materials, envelopes, stamps, um, and the return of uh, the surveys due to insufficient address. <clears throat> Our recommendation for tasks 1, 2, and 3 is that we would begin on December 18th for um, researching uh, with the IT department for uh, email capability or possibilities, and that would run through January 2nd. The second task we could implement on January, uh, December 19th and run that through January 3rd, and then the third task would run from December 20th to January 4th. <clears throat> Now, 
in concluding this um, proposal, the need for uh, evening food service is evident. Um, what the best means um, in which to reach the students is the question. Um, in order to make this possible, we need to look at the most economical but effective way to reach them. We believe that this proposal is just, and we believe that this proposal is offering just that. Thank you.